Hi, my name is called Bear and today let me take a look at the strategy games that will be released this December. Let's start with Per Aspera. This is a planetary simulation game that combines hard science fiction and base building and takes the experience planet-wide. Step into the role of artificial consciousness with the prime directive of terraforming Mars for human colonization. Using scientific theories proposed by real space agencies and geographical data directly from NASA, Per Aspera presents lifelike conditions and challenges steeped in theoretical science. It may be fun game to play, to spend your cold, lonely evenings with this cold, lifeless game, but I can bet that this isn't gonna be the next hit on Twitch. Looking at the gameplay got me a bit sleepy already. Airborne Kingdom I'm pretty much sure that many of you never have heard about this game. This is the Sky City Builder where you grow a unique town among the clouds, build housing, satisfy needs and grow your clan, maintain lift, balance, weight and be careful not to run low on fuel while you fly across a wide open landscape which changes with every playthrough. Search for resources, find lost technologies and discover the fate of the ancients. At the same time gain allegiance with the ground king and help them find artifacts, construct monuments and build trade routes. Your guidance can propel an era of harmony. But knowing you and knowing me, we will probably crash into some thriving city and kill thousands of innocent people instead. The Universum Game is an early access from 2018, but the final release should entertain us this December. Here you can jump straight into managing your own planets as you guide a puny civilization through the ages. So literally, if Age of Empires spent a perverted night with a planetary annihilation, nine months later this game would be born. It has interesting gameplay. For example, every planet comes with a few surprises that are sure to challenge your civilization. From tornadoes that consume everything in their path, thunderous earthquakes that threaten to split your civilization, to a total ban of vodka that can make your units riot. Well, maybe not the latter, but you get the point. Planets are scary and dangerous. As is this frog. Empire of Sin the setting of Empire of Sin is not what I'm used to. Turn-based strategy games are usually set in a fantasy world where you have to use magic in order to kill some evil bastard with your fireballs or just balls if they are humongous or with your rusty but trusty lasers burn additional holes in alien bodies. The more holes, the better. Every man knows that. So here in Empire of Sin you will slip into the shoes of one of the 14 real and historically inspired mob bosses, such as Al Capone and assemble a vicious gang. It's up to you to hustle, charm and intimidate your way to the very top and do whatever it takes to stay here. Well, except if it takes your balls. Balls are definitely off the table. Knights of Honor 2 Sovereign Become a king and wrestle over control of Europe. Sovereign includes all the depth, while being the gateway game to the grand strategy genre, presenting the world as living, breathing miniature. Choose your royal court carefully and determine the destiny of your people, be it riches, conquest, intrigue or trade, or poorness, famine and defeat. It's up to you to define how lame your country will be as you defend your lands or take war to the enemy, even jump into the battle directly in action packed RTS combat. Although I have to say that the release date of 2020 sounds a bit shady. It is very possible that the game will be delayed. Well, we will see that very soon, aren't we? That's it. Now is the time for you to like this video and also subscribe to my channel and press that notifications button so you would never miss my video ever again. And because I just paid my last $12 for this subscription animation, I may die from hunger. But you can help me by becoming my Patreon supporter or by joining here on YouTube. Any help will let me create more and more funny stuff and, to be fair, buy more expensive vodka instead of cheap-ass vodka. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you next time. Bye.